Hey everyone, welcome to Keto Cooking with Wendy. And you guys, today I am making an old favorite that we used to have growing up as kids. I'm sure you all had it one time or another and that is tuna cheese casserole. Yes indeed, tuna cheese casserole, but you guys, I'm making it with a twist because in the old days we used to start with hamburger helper and we don't have that anymore. It was the tuna hamburger helper. Right now we have perfect keto mac and cheese. Yes, we do. Now, this is the first time I've ever tried it and I'm very excited about doing so, you guys. So, I'm reading the directions and it says bring six to eight cups of water to a boil in a medium saucepan, add pasta and stir. I've got my water, it's starting to boil. I put eight cups in this particular pan. We also made this with uh, Kraft macaroni and cheese once upon a time. So it says to add the pasta and stir. So I'm putting the pasta in. I am stirring it. How many glasses, how much water do you have? I put in six, I mean, I put in eight cups of water per the instructions. Six to eight, it says cover, which I just covered. And it says, Cook for five to eight minutes. So I'm gonna cook it for five, six minutes. I want it a little andante, which is a little undercooked rather than mushy because it's going to go into casserole and continue to cook in casserole form. So I'm cooking it for six minutes. Ooh. That was fast though. I'm not. There we go. Crisis averted. Yes, indeed. Sorry, folks. Always watch your pan. Watch your kids around the kitchen, especially if they're in my kitchen. Yes, indeed. I put it on low boil so it'll continue to cook. Glad I put in eight cups of water for that because, uh, yeah, I think at least two cups ran out of the pan. Anyway, you guys. Oh man, what is going on today? These noodles must have a Let's lot of the noodles. The noodles have a lot of foam. Yeah. Don't try this at home, you guys. You got long time practice with electric burner. Okay, I'm gonna let it cool down. Put it on to simmer. Now I'm gonna try one more time. That's crazy. These lupini-based noodles must have because it's all foamy. You know. Yeah. Okay. Look at it. Let's try this, see how it does. Okay, now I'm gonna add a minute to my, I'm gonna add a minute to that. Okay, this is crazy cooking with Wendy in the kitchen. Yes, it is. Yes. You never know what's gonna happen, you guys, but I just keep rolling along. See, look, it's really foaming and it's yes. on simmer. So I am thinking, I am not gonna cover it. Because for some reason, on an electric stove, the lupini noodles are just causing too much foam. So I'm going to do it like this, you guys, and come back. If there's any lupini noodles that have survived, we'll come back and go to the next step, you guys. But i got to clean up this, this stove around my lupini pasta noodles. While we're waiting for the noodles, I have two cans of a Wild Planet Wild Caught Pole Line Caught Albacore Tuna, rinsed and drained. Where'd it go? I'll get it. It's over here. Rinsed and drained and chopped. I've got six ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. And I have got a quarter of a cup, it says a quarter of a cup of cream. I have mascarpone cheese that I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna use a little bit of unsweetened organic coconut milk to give it the milkiness that it needs in it. Then I have half a teaspoon of organic seasoned salt, half a teaspoon of California onion, half a teaspoon of garlic, and one quarter teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. I'm going to top it with a little dill, sprinkle of dill, and I'm going to top it with pork rind crumbles, one third cup. 
Now the alarm went off for my noodles, so I need to drain these. And my lid, which is no longer hot, has little holes in it to drain this with. So I'm gonna drain this real quick. So the tuna is on the bottom. The noodles have been drained and poured into a mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to add their packet of goodness. This is Perfect Keto, and you guys, check out their website. We have a uh, discount and link in the description below. I'm going to put this delicious package on here. Then I'm going to add, I'm gonna mix my seasonings a little bit. Sprinkle that on. I'm going to get my mascarpone, mascarpone, and I'm gonna put it in here. It's gonna make it creamy, smooth, and delicious. Yes, it is. And then I am also going to add a tape, a quarter of a cup of coconut milk to give it some wetness, some moistness. There we go. Now I'm going to get my big spoon and just mash this all together. Fold it in. Mmm. Mascarpone is a sweet cheese. It's kind of like Philadelphia cream cheese, but it's sweeter because it doesn't have, I don't believe it has the same cultures that Philadelphia cream cheese has it. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on this. Now, I'm gonna take half, get that all mixed in. I'm gonna take half my cheese because I need cheese for the topping. This is six ounces of cheese. And I am using Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese because we like Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese and we want our casserole cheesy, don't we, Harry? Yeah. And this smells delicious. So once you've got it mixed in, Get a sprayed casserole, small casserole dish, which is what I have here. And go ahead and carefully pour it into your casserole dish. Mm, this is going to be delicious. I can just smell it. It just smells so good, doesn't it? Yep. Get all this delicious cheese and tuna from the dish. Now I'm going to add, chop the rest of this cheese on here because I want nice, cheesy, delicious. This is a total of six ounces of cheese, you guys. It's a total of six ounces measured. Now, I have got one third of a cup of pork rind crumbles to a small casserole dish. And I like putting it out here because I like having more control over it. These pork rinds are absolutely delicious and I like this brand of pork rind crumbles best because they actually fry their pork rind in pork grease. It's a pork barrel. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of dill and just sprinkle a little bit of dill on top just to give it that dilly. Now, if you don't like dill, don't use dill, but I love dill. I just want to get a little bit of dill in there. And you guys, all you need to do is pop this in a 350 degree preheated oven and cook it for about 30 minutes or until the cheese is bubbly and melted on top. I moved the rack to the second to the top I'm just putting my casserole right in. And you guys, we'll be back in the next segment when I pull our tuna cheese casserole out of the oven. Guys, my 
mac and cheese tuna casserole is ready to come out of the oven. I'm going to clear the timer. Watch your feet, Harry. Mm, look yeah, at that. that good, Man, right? that smells delicious. Yes, it does. Here at Sizzlin'. Yep. Okay, you guys, we are going to let this rest for about... Um, let's let it rest for about three minutes. Three to five minutes just to let it cool off a little bit. And then we'll be back and we'll plate it and do a taste test. Okay, you guys, the cas casserole, it is a mac and cheese tuna casserole made with mac and cheese perfect keto, you guys. Yep. So we're gonna cut into this and we're gonna give it a taste test. Yes, we are. Oh, hear that? Oh man, does that sound delicious. I like the crusty part of the casserole. Mm -hmm. Always have. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's good, huh? Mm hmm. Look at this delicious mac and cheese tuna casserole, you guys. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you guys come back and we're gonna do a taste test. Yes, indeed. Okay, we're gonna do a taste test, you guys. Mm, gosh, this smells good. It's hot, hot, hot. Guess we don't get to see it, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Too mm -hmm. late now. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. That's what you were looking for? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's cheesy. That pork rind is crunchy. It's got great texture and chew, and it's got cheese. What could be better? Anyway, I want Harry to give this a taste test as well, you guys. Hold up the plate. Let me see it, Harry. Doesn't that look pretty? Guys, look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Go ahead and smell. God, that smells so good. Doesn't it? Feel the fork. Doesn't that feel good? Blow it, it's hot. Yeah, it's real weighty. You guys see that? It's a hearty meal. Yeah, it's 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 a complete meal. At least it looks like it to me. Mmm. Isn't that got a great chew? Good flavor. Pork rinds add so much to it, you know. Gives it that chewy, that breaky, I don't know what you call it, but little crunch to it. Yeah. Then the chewy texture of the noodles and then that creamy texture of the cheese. Hey, look into the camera, Mr. Cameraman. It's actually did a pretty good job. This is the first time I think I've had this stuff. The mac and cheese? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very good. It's okay. Very good. Go ahead and put it down. Mmm. 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 Hey everybody, this is the mac and cheese tuna casserole made with Perfect Keto mac and cheese. I followed the instructions. The only thing I did not do is have heavy cream. I used Mars, Mark, Mars, Marcapone cheese or you can use Philadelphia cream cheese and a little coconut milk or almond milk of your choice or you can follow the directions exactly. I added two cans of the tuna etc with this. So you guys the recipe will be linked in the comment section. It'll be pinned to the top above but you guys know what that means. We've got to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this video today. I hope you really liked it. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time I'm cooking. See you later. Bye. Say goodnight, Sally. Bye. Good girl.
girl.